Welcome to the first Wellness Wednesday. I am Kitty Hovatter, a master's level intern with Inner Evolution Counseling here in Frederick, Maryland. Today, we are starting off our season of giving by discussing giving to ourselves as well as others. Now, giving to ourselves is another way of saying self-care. And when we say self-care, we're talking about those little things that we do for ourselves to help ourselves rest, recharge, and refocus. Taking time out to show ourselves the kindness and compassion that we show to the other people in our lives. Think of self-care as kind of your oxygen mask on an airplane. Every single flight, the flight attendant says, first you place the mask over your own face before you assist your loved ones. Self-care is our own personal oxygen mask. We have to give to ourselves before we can give to another person. So then, how do we take care of ourselves? I'm really glad you asked. I know for me, self-care looks like reminding myself that I'm allowed to slow down and have downtime. It is totally okay for me to have an hour or two to just sit and read, take a long bubble bath, go for a walk, silence my cell phone, or even just veg out on my couch and watch a favorite movie. I don't care if I've seen it a million times before. The comfort of that familiar plotline and happy ending really helped me unwind after a particularly stressful day. And sometimes I will admit I watch a tearjerker movie so that I can cry and have that cathartic moment without any kind of emotional upheaval associated with it. So you're probably thinking at this point, Kitty, I am plenty kind to myself. And you know, I thought the same thing. And then I took a self-compassion quiz and discovered that I'm actually much kinder to others than I have ever been to myself. We are our own worst critics after all. When I took the quiz, I scored about in the middle on self-compassion. I have areas where I excel and areas where I really could be kinder to myself. If you want to try this, we have a wonderful 19 question quiz on selfcompassion.org and we have a link for you below where you can measure for yourself your own self-compassion level. So let's take a minute now and think about what self-care can look like for you. Think it over and make yourself a small list. Is self-care for you making your favorite dish to eat? Is it ordering pizza and watching Netflix? Or is your self-care getting all dressed up and going out to spend time with friends? The best self-care is the kind that helps you to reconnect with yourself and the things that you enjoy in a guilt-free way. Sing your favorite tune as loud as you can, especially if you are stuck alone in your car in Maryland traffic. Go ahead and do a funny little dance that you love to do. Give yourself moments in your day to take a break and just be yourself. Self-care, however, is never something that we want to be taken lightly or taken for granted. Parents, how many times have you been told that self-care is taking a shower, or going to the bathroom, or going to the grocery store without your children with you? One time, I feel like, would be too many. Yes, taking a shower is an act of caring for yourself, but that's not what we mean by self-care. That's just basic hygiene. That's not what we're talking about here. True self-care constitutes time that you take for yourself to relax and recharge. And as this is the season of giving and we're getting into the holiday spirit, you want to start by giving yourself the same care and kindness that you give to others. If you like this video and want more content, please click subscribe below. We will be posting a new video every week covering topics like stress management, making resolutions, parenting tips, and so much more. And I want to remind you, we here at Inner Evolution Counseling believe everyone deserves positive mental health. If you or someone you know are struggling, please contact us or text 988 in a crisis. See you next Wednesday.